Hey, off of viewing, folks. We were, uh, we've just moved down a, a couple of kilometres. Coming down to this other jetty, seeing how these guys are going. Here's our uh, jet ski guy that was out there, so I think they call them a, uh, a CD jet ski. So he's doing pretty well. Um, out cruising in the bay. Nice palm trees and uh, playgrounds for the kids. Barbecues. It's a long weekend uh, today in Western Australia. People out enjoying their, their barbecues and everything they love doing. That'd be a nice house to own some of these up here. Could, uh, just walk straight across to these fishing spots, take your boat out, take your jet ski out. Wouldn't even need a barbecue, just use your own barbecue there. Although I reckon if you had that house, you'd probably have a barbecue somehow. These are pelican folks. Wow, wow, folks. Pelican. We've got the pelican and seagulls cruising next to each other. Isn't that right? Look at that for us. You don't see that one. Pelican and seagulls. Knee deep water. This is an amazing sight. Oh, oh seagulls getting a little bit nervous. Just moving away a little bit from the from the pelican, but he's just uh, doing a bit of sun baking, bit of cruising. He's going to turn around for us. This is this is what happens with the the great wonders of the, of the outdoors in Australia, folks. You never quite know what's going to turn up on your doorstep. And these pelicans, or this pelican and seagulls, are literally not even 50 feet from people's houses. They can be looking at them from their balcony. Just so lucky. So lucky. Here he comes, he's coming up for a, a view. It's 12 o'clock, so he's probably having a little bit of lunch. Can fetch himself a little sand whiting or something. You can see the long beak they've got for nuzzling down to get those whiting that they, they dive for. It's up really close. You can see the yellow ring around his eye. That's how close we are. And, the, and his uh, uh, paddles at his, um, well, what do you call them? They're not feet, but they're paddles, flippers. He's awesome. Here's some of the best footage we've ever had, folks. This is brilliant. He's having a bit of a look at everybody. 
he's opened, opened his beak. He's saying hello. He's asking for a bit of food. Fisheries, marine and marine life, wildlife fisheries inspector just checking on um, people's boats, licenses, making sure that they're fishing for the future, not not doing the wrong thing, not taking undersized fish. It's great to see them out and about on a, on a long weekend. Kind of funny, but when the uh, the marine and fisheries inspectors turn up, people tend to leave pretty quickly. It's kind of ironic how these guys down the back are, are packing up. Doing the right thing, are they? Yeah, no, you seem to be. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> if only, huh? Hey? That's a nice girl. Normally, some of the uh, fisheries inspectors um, are a little bit cheesed off for a bit grumpy from having to do with people. If you're doing the right thing, you should have nothing to, to hide from. Just keeps the, uh, the fish spots out for the future for us. Look at this pelican, eh? Awesome. See, he's got his boat all rigged up. Tough little boat rods. Don't think he's caught much though. a little, little anchor here with his uh, CD jet ski so he's just anchored up just offshore great stuff
enjoying a public holiday picnic. Still got a few Rockingham ferals down here. I've got two in front, but I guess you get all walks of life everywhere. His mate going to check out an expired trailer or some crap like that. That's what gives him a bad name. Because if it was a um, taking undersized fish or something, but probably not doing any harm, but obviously it's for an out of date trailer or something, just ridiculous money raising on a public weekend, on a public holiday. That's a warning, but no. Gotta go and get his quota. It's unbelievable. Boat out here. don't like me, they said he's standing on the jetty, well, I'm allowed to record, so that's bad luck isn't it? These guys are probably just squidding out there, so the water's just come in, just started to get a little bit choppy. jet ski coming through here folks. Gee, the jet skis are popular.
so they're going to take their, uh, their rods out as well, do a bit of fishing off their jet ski. So I've got the rods up there.